Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode, we did a bit of exploration, and we found three hard drives off to the um, east, southeast, quite a ways. And so in this episode, we return to the base, and we're going to work on steel some more. But first, I want to take a look at the MAM and look at what the third hard drive revealed to us here. So uh, we have an alternate blueprint for a steeled frame. This consumes fewer reinforced iron plates, but will consume some steel. For the case of getting three per minute instead of two per minute. So basically it changes out the rods. 12 rods is 12 iron ingots, or 12 iron ore. 10 pipes is, I think, I guess we can tell. 10 pipes is 15 iron ore and coal so that's not really that efficient other than that it uses steel instead of iron but iron is cheaper than steel so uh, and actually in fact the uh, the the other alternate recipe there is better let's move on uh, copper alloy we, we got the last time uh, it's copper plus iron equals copper right now I mean other than it producing a massive amount I'm not that thrilled with it because we have copper we haven't used yet. And then charcoal is of wood um, to 10 coal. One wood to 10 coal. One wood's energy value. That's probably worth it. 10 coal has an energy... 10 coal will last us... Is it two? Or is it four seconds each? Yeah, four seconds each. So that's forty seconds worth of power at seventy-five megawatts, which is seventy-five joules per second, or megajoules per second. Seventy-five times forty is three hundred. Megajoules of power for one wood. Uh, other than needing to do it manually, I don't see how that's not a good idea. I mean, other than the fact that, again, we have to do it manually, which means that it would be something like if we went out with with the chainsaw to clear some trees because we wanted to build some, some foundations or something and uh, we had some wood, we could feed it into a constructor making coal and feed that into uh, into our coal power or our steel or something. I think it's worth it just because this one's not and that one doesn't look like it is to me either. Let's take this one. At least it's a recipe. <laughs> At least it's a hard drive. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do is take a look at the hub and see what else we had available to us. Um, hyper tubes, not yet. We need to encase industrial beams. I didn't grab enough pipes to do this one, but we could come back and do this one. So let's select the milestone. I'm going to go ahead and feed in what I have. Take that 100, and I'll... Okay, yeah, we need 50 more pipes. And 400 more concrete. Well, the concrete's easy to come by. But the pipes are way at the far end of the base. So I'm going to walk past the concrete here first, and I'm going to return to the steel area where we uh, where we left off a couple episodes ago, although it's quite a bit different. Because when I started running the concrete belt down this way for the encased industrial beams, because they need 30 concrete per minute, I noticed that my bus that I had established was going straight into what was the um, what was where was the steel build that I had done. So I mirrored it. It's it's almost exactly mirrored. Um, I did change a couple of things though to make a little bit more sense. Uh, first of all, we still have the four foundries here. The fourth one is not hooked up. Uh, although I should use it slightly here. 
for the stuff that I noticed I had in my hand earlier. See, a hundred and a hundred. And then this stuff can go in here. Wait, did you not take the hundred? Okay, you did. Oh, I bet you there was a couple pieces in there. Okay, so, um, they are merging. But they are not, uh, but it's not feeding that last one just yet. Okay, and then I brought them out here into sort of like a mini steel bus. Where I could then immediately put them back into some pipe makers here. Of which we have now backed up completely. And into some beam makers here. So what I wanted to do is what we've done previously on our other games. Or our other, uh... Oh, what are they called? Oh, jeez. Our, our other assemblies there. In... To kind of build a... Okay, you need to go right here. A, um... Same kind of merger to bring them into the bus here someplace. So, the first thing would be to take the pipes here. Put them on a... Uh... Conveyor lift two. I think take it up to there. And bring them across to here. Does that go up? I can't tell. I really can't tell. Here? It does. Okay, I didn't go up high enough. I get some pipes in our hand here. That's where we go. And that'll come over here. But I want to do the similar kind of thing where we put a um, storage container in. I think I can just put it... I think it goes here. Although that may not be the right place. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe it is. That's right, I think. Uh, let's see, a lift. Lift mark one. Down. Not quite the right place. I haven't emptied out those two containers yet, by the way. Is that the place? I should put this on my hot bar, actually. What is seven? That way I don't have to keep going into the... Yes, that is the right place. Okay. These are actually, um... Not where I want them. So just like down there, we're gonna cross the bus at level three. Into... That. These aren't technically necessary, but I like the look of them. And then uh, they can go up on the bus at some point. I want to make sure these come down the lift. Yep, there they go. And then they should come in here. Now, which one of these contain the pipes? This one? Yes. Can I deconstruct that whole thing? Nope, I cannot. Oh, I didn't even pick any of them up. Grab all. That's weird. Store all of those. Never mind. We can't use the deconstruct tool. There we go. And we'll just take those for now. Uh, and then I want to do the same thing over here. Please tell me it's not. Okay, good. It's not. Lined up exactly with that, uh, that support pole there. And I should go there. Yep. Two, three... This is going to be in the way, of course. Can it deconstruct into a fix-it box and be enough out of the way? Let's see. We are from the center of the thing. Which is there. We are one, two meters. And we are right against it. Right there. No, one more. One more meter. 
one of these days I will remember all of these different um, layouts. Right there. That looks righter. Okay, and then we'll go in here, grab all, dump all in, grab all, oopsie, and then dump all of those in as well for now. Uh, lift down from hold still. There you go. Click, and it's good. Up to there, I think, and it's good. Yep. So now we are technically overdrawing on the uh, on the steel production because we have all four of these going, and we can't support four of them. We can't even support three, really. But I'm okay with it right now. We're going to be doubling steel soon anyway. Once we get this Logistics 3 done. So I'm okay with it. Um, so that's that. Then we'll obviously put these back up and onto the bus. Way up there someplace. But I want to look at what the assembler is going to need. In order to, um, in order to work. First of all, let's put a splitter in. So that we know about our spacing. Uh, I'll just put it there. That's the minimum spacing. Yeah, that's the minimum spacing we can have here. And then we'll do an assembler. Production assembler. Turn it around. Since this takes two items... One, two, three. No, not four. Three. That should be... Let's take this splitter up again. Uh, here. And then, just for funsies, one of these here. And that clicks in. Okay, so that's perfect. Take that down. So, that gives us room to be able to run uh, a, a belt of splitters, sort of like how we did here with the... Uh, with the steel, with the iron and the coal coming in, and having two rows of splitters at some height feeding into the assembler. The assembler is going to make encased industrial beams, which takes 24 steel beams per minute and 30 concrete per minute. Now let's look at the steel beams again. We're producing not 15 and 15. We're probably producing, well, we're probably producing closer to 15 right now. So I think if we only have one of these, at least for now, we are in, a, in our best place. Uh, let's see, a power pole used to come in here. Um, actually, let's put this here first. And then we go out on this line and in that space right there. And there we go. Oh, I guess I can do that part, too. Okay, so concrete's way up there. Um, steel beams are going to be on one level higher. Put you up there. Put you up there. This is on one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hope that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then this comes out as a lift. I probably need a ladder to climb here. Uh, I think there. And then I want to... It didn't hurt yet. That's good. Temporarily build one of these. That's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, now it's seven. Hey, look, I even did it at the right height. I think. Or no. Is that right? 
It looks like it's sloping downward. That's too low. Isn't it? Where is it at? Yeah, that's definitely too low. Why does that look like it's sloping down? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oops, and I fell. That's what I'm missing, I'm missing the step. Unless it's just my eyes. It could very well be just my eyes. Or, I don't have it lined up right. I'm about under the belt. I don't think I do. I think that's the problem. No, it's lined up right. Just my eyes. That's level. I'm crazy. Okay. So, what we wanted to do here was actually stay up here. And do it like we did before with a splitter. Right here. We're actually going to stand on top of this. That might be the better place to stand. Just like we did before with a splitter right in here. Somewhere. Well, maybe... Is that the right spot? That's pretty close. That's close enough for government work. Okay, and this goes here, and it's a little bit off. Try again. I will try again. Now I'm off the other direction. Well, I'll have plenty of beams in my pocket when I'm done with this, I think. No, I'm still off. What I should do, in order to do this correctly... Oh, maybe I should just stand here. That would be the smart thing to do. Let's uh, come back here. That's what we needed to do. Why why did that why was that so hard? Okay, and then you go and attach there. And you can attach No. There. Can I attach that one? No. I don't have enough I don't have enough iron plates. Okay. Um this no longer needs to be here. Neither does any of this one. Seven. That's good. Oopsie. And can I get now... Do I have enough iron plates to make the reach now? I do. Just barely. Okay. So that takes care of those. Let's run back to get some iron plates. And that way we have the stuff we need. Oh, you know what? Before I run away, let me grab what we need as far as pipes go. What do I have in my pocket here? A few. Um, one hundred. We'll take this and then put those back. Just for funsies, I will also take a couple hundred of these to have. Put those back. Then we'll stop by, get the limestone, go to the hub, pick up the iron plates on the way back, and that way we have we can finish this build. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Excellent.
Let's see, one of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. So now conveyor belts use steel beams. Oops. And lifts use steel beams. Stackable pipelines we got, I think, in the last one. But those are going to be useful. And then the other thing we got was storage. Is that what she said? Industrial storage, which uses steel beams and pipes. It's uh, 48 slots versus 24, so it's twice the slots, but twice the height. And it has two inputs and outputs, even though the picture doesn't have them. That's weird. The picture doesn't show the second input, but it apparently has one. Uh, anything else that we got that I didn't talk about? It doesn't look like it. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, milestones. So the only milestone we have left is hypertubes. I'm going to go ahead and select it, even though we um, don't have the beams yet to use. Okay, let's go buy the iron box. Or not much faster that cart really is, That uh, the cart that I keep leaving over here. Let's go and see if it's any faster. Uh, I mean, we won't be able to really tell, but... Eat. There we go. I mean, it feels fast. It does do 55 kph. I mean, you go this way. Then... Two, three, four. Put back those two guys. Don't run into stuff, Wally. It, it, it definitely feels fast, but I don't know if it's faster than running. And I think the only way really to... Because it doesn't tell you... You can't see what your actual run speed is. In the game, at least. There might be some people who have done some analysis. But otherwise, the only thing to do would be to... Uh, actually test it by doing, like, a foot race. All right, so we have... We should have beams up on that one. Hopefully. Can't see them, but I'm assuming they're up there. There they are. Yep. Okay, so what we can do here is a couple of things. Um, we can we can do the steel just like we or yeah do this just like we did the steel smelting, which means we need to go up to is it six and seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is zero effectively, so we need to turn the thing there. Three, wait, zero, one, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? I don't want these floating super high in the air. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Well, not different than what I've done, but different than what some people have done. You go there and there. Okay. Did I do that one right? I did not do that one right because it turns on you. There we go. Okay. I need one more. In order to have a lift right here to there. And then this one just goes straight in. Uh, what I want to do here is take this lift up. Nope, lift, lift. Let's see. That's three. No, that's two. Three, four, five, six. No, these are half, half height, aren't they? Let's do a bear pull just so we have something to measure against. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then stacker or the lift right there and then these can all come out hopefully that goes across to there and is level 
but we don't have a splitter up there yet. Uh, I should probably get a guideline for that. You go here. And I do this one. Well, I don't probably don't need to actually get up here though. Uh, let's see a splitter. This needs to just go dead center right there. You know what I could do? I don't know why I keep doing this. I this is easier than I'm doing it. Way easier than I'm doing it. I should have done this over there too. I can put a splitter right here. Back these guys up. And then... One more. And then that one will auto-rotate to match and be right where I want it to be. And then so will the one above it, just like that. I can delete all five of those, and they are perfectly square with this here. Which is exactly what I wanted. I don't know why I made that so hard. Okay. Uh, oh, I see why I made it so hard. Because I misaligned it. Uh, these need to be... Aligned correctly. With the thing. There. No. Alright, I am being a maniac today. There we go. This goes here. And there. Yes. Okay. It didn't auto-rotate. But it's there, correctly. Interesting. Okay. Now, hopefully that is correct. And then we take this into there. They're not snapped. They're not... Okay, am I... Okay, now it's moving. Did I at least get this roughly close? Yeah, I did. Okay, and then this one goes... Directly on top of that one. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, so that apparently does not work the way that I thought it would. And so what I want to do here is is connect to this, bring this up here, I think, and there. And that feels level. So that way, I am making the best use of my space here. And I'm also pulling the items I need directly off of the bus and directly into the place where they're needed. And then this would allow for, I'm not using it for this, but this would allow for having a second or subsequent uh, assemblers here. Um, and allow all the items that I need to go in. And it looks like we are indeed making beams. Okay, and then we could do a merger here, just to... Uh, where's it go? There it is. Out one there. Yes. And then this works just like those other ones over there. Where we go up to level three. Should be right there. I could have done a measuring stick here to make sure. It's not there. Good thing I did a measuring stick to make sure. 
I don't know why I keep clicking the wrong button now, too. Right there. That's perfect. And this can come across here. Right there. And then just like uh, this. Nope, not that. That. It can go... I think it's that one. It was. Excellent. So now we should be getting encased industrial beams into there once they're being made, if they aren't being made already. Oh, I need to connect the belt up over here. That would be smart. Uh, nope. What happened with that? Oh, I collect before I should have. There we go. So we made a few already. Breaking six of those a minute. Um, we're consuming more steel beams than we're making at the moment. And we are consuming half of that belt of concrete coming down this way. Which is still way less than we're making. Okay, that looks, that looks good. Oh, there they go. Okay. And then we should have a backlog here. Good, good. Anything that I want or need. We need the pipes. For this, I'm going to take should I take an extra? I should take extra. This doesn't hurt. And then we need 50 of, the, of these beams once they're made. Which is going to take a little while. Uh, because we only have 15 in the bin. I think I will um, pause for a moment here. I'll let them accumulate. And then um, you all can join me again to do this hypertube research just for fun. Alright, welcome back. And I am here at the hub. And time to put in... Make the stuff. There we go. Time to put in the stuff to make the stuff. There we go. Hypertubes. Okay. You gonna talk? Milestone yeah. reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Ah, here we are. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. <laughs> Okay, so uh, hypertubes take copper sheets and pipes. Those are pretty simple and cheap to do. Uh, hypertube entrances take the reinforced uh, or the yeah, reinforced beams, whatever it is they're called that we just set up, along with rotors and pipes. That's easy enough. And then the hypertube supports are just plates and uh, concrete. So that's really cheap. And that'll be the basis for a hypertube that we can build uh, once we have a few more of the, um, the beams set up are made. So uh, this is where we're going to leave it today. Uh, I want next time to, let's see, let me find a spot here. I want to build a couple more assemblers now and start making, case industrial beams, that's what it's called, and start making the next two items, which are the versatile frameworks and the automated wiring. Oh, we can't do that yet. We need to do staters first. So we're going to set up staters next time. Uh, and then we can work on one of these and probably not the other one. I don't think we'll quite have time for that. So in the meantime, before the next episode, I will run... Uh, let's see. I will run the copper cable and copper w and the wire. As well as probably the um, copper sheets. 
onto the bus. Not that, it's not the bus. The bus is over there. I will connect those three items that are made way over there onto the bus. That way we have them available to us so that we can build these uh, these next few things. So, uh, let's see. The copper wire will need to go all the way down. Uh, if we make these copper rotors, we'll need to make those. We can make those wherever, honestly. And then uh, these two items will make somewhere near the space elevator like we did with this, the smart plating. All right, so that's where we're going to leave it today. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.